soul music is a gospel-derived form, and it's gospel-style vocals on top of jazz and blues instrumentation. And usually when we're talking about soul music, we're talking about a music of the 1960s and 70s. Soul music was basically the anthem of the civil rights movement. At rallies, there would be soul music. And in fact, Martin Luther King made remarks about how important soul music was to the movement and how it advanced integration. It's a very passionate, powerful, emotional kind of singing. You think about like the music of Otis Redding or Aretha Franklin, who are considered two of the great soul singers. They both came out of the church. Their delivery is very strong and very passionate, and they convey a lot of emotion, which we see in the church with a very different focus. All of the songs are about love and romance and secular music as opposed to sacred music. So it definitely came out of the church, but it was not an easy transition. Some of the early soul singers, including Ray Charles, who's from Florida, and he's a chapter in my book, got in trouble when he took some gospel songs and transposed them into love songs. For example, there's a gospel song called I've Got a Savior, and Ray Charles turned it into a song called I've Got a Woman, and a lot of people in the church weren't happy about it, and it was very popular song. Early rhythm and blues sort of evolved into two distinct streams, and one of which is rock and roll, and the other one was soul. There was a tremendous amount of energy to it, which young people, white and black, responded to in the same way that helped transform the way people thought about race in this country.